in today's video, I want to show you how to create this really quick and easy look. I feel like this is great for this time of year where you want to feel put together. You want to feel a little bit glam, but you probably don't have all the time in the world to do that. So here is a really quick and easy look. We're only using one eyeshadow, which is even better. And it probably takes me about five minutes. So hopefully this will help some of you out when you want to feel glam, but you don't have too much time. Now, if you're new here to the Make a Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started with this really quick and easy makeup look. So as always, we're going to start by priming the lids. Now, because I want to keep this really, really simple, I'm not going to use an eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to use whatever I'm going to be using on my face. So I'm going to grab my favorite concealer. Yes, I know. Please don't judge me too harshly, but I'm going to grab my favorite concealer, something that's a little bit on the dry side, and I'm going to use this as my base because I can use this all around my face and it just takes up a lot less time. So when I'm applying concealer to other areas, I just pop a little bit on my lid and blend it out using my sponge. And as I always say, try using a sponge to blend out your concealer or your primer on your lid and the base is so much smoother and much more even. Give it a try. So what that concealer is going to do is cover up the natural discoloration that we can have on the lid. So now we're just going to set it in place because concealer tends to have a little bit of an oily texture. So I'm just going to apply my translucent powder or my face powder, whatever you like to use all over the lid to set that concealer in place. This is just going to prevent any of those creases and any of those kind of little oiliness from coming through while also creating like a really smooth base for us to blend over as well. And I'm using a blending brush to apply this powder and we're going to continue to use this blending brush as we go. Now to keep this really easy, I'm going to apply the same bronzer or contour that I'm going to be using on my face on my eyes. If you want a warmer look, go for your bronzer. If you want a cooler look, go for your contour. Now I'm sticking with that same brush and I'm just going to work this into the crease of the eye and then blending upwards and blending downwards. Basically it should fade out from the crease line. So that's where the eye kind of creases into the eye shape. That should be where we have the most amount of depth. And then it is blended slightly downwards and slightly up. Try keeping your eyes open. This actually really helps to see the shape that you're creating. Also, the reason I picked this brush is because I can use it horizontally, but also vertically. And this is going to allow for a different type of blend. So when I went to get it deep in the crease, I'm going to use it horizontally and then I can turn it on its side and I can blend over and back. And this is just going to give me a little bit more height in my blend. Absolutely love this brush. It's one of my favorite blending brushes. Highly recommend it. So I'm just going to very softly blend this all over the eye shape. Basically imagine that you're kind of contouring your eye shape. So just follow your natural eye shape, making sure to leave a small gap underneath the brows and also at the lash line. Now the reason I've left this gap at the lash line is for our next step. So basically we're just going to coat this with a little bit of pencil. So grab your favorite pencil or your gel liner. I'm going to be using a pencil because I like how creamy pencils can become so I can kind of blend and blur this out. So I'm just going to do a simple line of pencil right at the lash line. Get as close as you can. Make sure you're really saturating right at the lash line, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be smudging this. So don't worry about getting the perfect line. Just get a nice even line right across the lash line. Now the pencil that I'm using is a black brown. As I've mentioned before, I like using black browns because they add a little bit more warmth to the eyes. They're not as harsh as using a true black. I also love applying this right in between the lashes and on the upper waterline as well. So I kind of look down in the mirror and I push this upwards and it coats this area. And what this does is adds a lot more depth to the eyes without having to work too hard. Remember, this look is all about being quick and easy. So this adds the drama without adding extra steps. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. So just a nice even line right across the lash line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up my hands and I'm going to use my pinky to blur and blend this out. Now warming up your hands will just create a little bit more of that warmth to melt the product. 
So taking your pinky, you're going to kind of smudge this out. So I don't want you to rub this because basically that will just erase it. What you want to do is you want to do a little smudging motion. Smudging is like pressing into the product and then pulling slightly up. And this will do that little smudge and kind of blur and blend out the edges. Now over the top of the smudge liner, we're going to apply a kind of a deep, rich shade with a shimmer or a metallic finish. Try choosing a shade that's gonna bring out your eye color. That's a really great way to make this more glam. So say if you have green eyes, go for a purple. If you have blue eyes, go for more of a golden shade. Or if you have brown eyes like me, go for something with maybe a silver. And I'm going to be using a pencil brush to apply this, but you can use your fingertips, again, kind of doing that same pressing and smudging motion. But I'm just gonna use a pencil brush because it's so much easier. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara, but we are actually going to go back in and do a second layer of eyeshadow in a second. Take a little bit more of the liner, take a little bit more of the eyeshadow, and just keep smudging until you get the depth that you like. But it's a really good idea to apply mascara in between just so you can see how dark you want to go. And there you go, that is the finished look. You should be able to recreate this look in about five minutes. Depends on how quickly you can apply falsies though. I have seen some people apply their falsies and it takes them about 10 seconds, which I'm like, wow. So I'm pretty impressed with those people. If you have any little quick tips or maybe an eyeshadow or a lipstick or something that you apply that makes you feel really glam instantly, I want to hear about it. So definitely let me know. We don't have much time in our lives. So sometimes it's just nice to have something really quick and easy that we can put on in a hurry and then head out and feel super glam and confident. And that's what this look is all about. So definitely share any tips that you have as well. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, particularly at this time of year, it can be kind of tricky. We're almost at December. The year is almost over. I can't believe how quickly this year has come by. But this is when we have to be super kind to ourselves and super kind to others because it can be a difficult time. It can be very stressful, be very hectic. There can be a lot of emotions. So let's just share a little bit of love and support and kindness as you guys always do. And I always really appreciate it. I love seeing your interactions with each other and the love and support that you share. It's just so beautiful. So let's keep it going till the end of the year. And I will see you guys in a video really soon. <laughs>